If you're sick, just look to nature for the answers. And I don't just mean what herbs to take, that's not what I'm talking about. Have you ever seen what animals do when they get sick? They stop eating and withdraw to the quietest, darkest place they can find, as far away from you as possible because they want to be left alone. The only time they will come out is to have an occasional sip of water. And I hope you don't see them when they do. There's a reason for this, let me explain. We are like a battery whose power is being used to deal with all kinds of things. It's a world of stimulation. People eat, drink, and smoke things that stimulate them. Food stimulates digestion. All day long we are overwhelmed by internet, cell phones, television, radio, traffic noise, family, friends, and society. Many people are so addicted to stimulation they need to have the TV on when in bed, avoiding silence at all costs like it's the enemy. 70% of our body's energy goes to digesting food. When you're sick, you need all that energy for healing. And no, you don't need food when you are not doing anything. You shouldn't be doing anything when you're sick. No television, no internet, no radio, nothing. If you're sick, it means you are overwhelmed physically, emotionally, and mentally. Your body runs on electricity, and you've got too many things plugged into the outlets. All your senses require electricity. Your eyes, your ears, your nerve endings, your mind, everything. And just like an overworked computer, you need to shut it all off completely, even your mind. It all starts when you eat dead foods like sugar, bread, pizza, pasta, cereal, or anything made with wheat or any kind of flour that's been killed by high heat. Along with milk, cheese, and cooked starches like potatoes and rice, because all starches turn into sugars in the body and sugars feed bacteria and viruses. So, if there's a bug floating around, that gunk in your body is the perfect breeding ground. Okay, so now a number of your electrical outlets are being used to fight the invaders in your body that are now multiplying like crazy. But don't blame the germs. Germs are not the cause of disease. They merely make themselves at home in weak and diseased tissue. Add that to stress from your job, money situation, relationship, and general dissatisfaction with where you are in life, and even more energy is being used up. In short, your eyes, ears, mind, digestive system, and immune system are working overtime and just can't go any further. You need to shut down, completely. Animals do all this instinctively. In fact, every living thing on the planet behaves instinctively except man, which, which chooses instead of listening to instinct to listen to the opinions of unhealthy people around them who don't have a clue what real health or healing is. We are told, take this, take that, eat this, drink that, don't starve yourself, you need food and nourishment to have strength and be healthy. I've always said the answer isn't what do I take for this, it's what do I stop doing or get rid of. Stop eating. No food at all, period. It's called fasting, and every healing culture in the world speaks of its benefits. No, you won't become anorexic and die. It's one of the best things you can do to give your body a break. Give your eyes a break. Get off Facebook and YouTube for a while. If you're gazing at the computer until you're ready to pass out at night, you're an addictive zombie, overstimulating your eyes and overloading your mind. Shut it all off. Step away. Be still for a few days. Stop thinking. Stop talking. You need to shut down. This is your time. For some people that are really worn down, even being touched is too much to handle. It's not that they don't love you. It's just that they're so overwhelmed they can't handle one more sensation. It may sound strange to some, but for a short while, you need to be left alone. Sleep for two days straight. Your only friend at this time should be water and the Plague Buster Potion. Do one or two enemas a day, water only, and alternate between bed and bath. Candles and soft music are okay, but nothing beyond that. The Plague Buster Potion is equal parts of raw onion, raw garlic, raw ginger, raw horseradish, and raw whole jalapeno pepper. Put them all in the blender, add enough apple cider vinegar to cover the ingredients, and blend. Put three tablespoons in water and drink numerous times throughout the day. This stores a room temperature indefinitely. But more important than diet and supplements is to watch your stress levels. Elevated cortisol will cause more damage to your immune system and overall health faster than anything else. Avoiding stimulants like caffeine, energy drinks, negative people, hyper people, conspiracy theories, and looking at your computer screen all day long. Give your eyes and ears a break, and I'm not just talking about sleeping. If you have a fever, runny nose, cough, sneeze, diarrhea, don't stop any of it. This is your body's natural way of getting rid of stuff. Sure, it may be inconvenient if you're trying to work at the office, but if you take drugs to hide those symptoms, you're driving the infection deeper into your cells, and it'll be harder in the long run to rid yourself of the problem. The best thing to do is help your body get rid of stuff. Do a bunch of enemas or colonics, do hot baths to sweat. Sneezing, runny nose, coughing, etc. brings toxins to the mucus lining so it can be expelled. You don't catch colds, stop blaming others. 
Sure, maybe you were near someone who was overloaded with bacteria, but that doesn't mean it has to affect you. Your body simply got overloaded with bad food, toxic debris, and is now trying to get rid of it. For more info, there's an ebook at marcusebooks.com called Getting Sick that talks about colds, flu, fever, sore throat, laryngitis, tonsillitis, staphylococcus, streptococcus, and stuff like that to help cleanse and detox your body of all that crap that got gunked up in there since the holidays. Get my detox kit. I always take my green formula for nutrition and mineral support for herbal vitamin C made from the high sources of vitamin C on the planet. But most of all, remember, it's all about staying clean, letting go, living light, and following your heart more than what people around you are telling you to do. It's not what you take as much as what you stop doing. Now go find that quiet spot that's just for you and heal.